Hello everybody, I uh, thought I'd make uh, another video uh, and show you something quite interesting that I found today. Um, I've had a little play with it and I just thought I'd show it all off today. Now Airfix, um, in fact I'll show it in the picture there. Airfix have released this, released this for um, little kids really to uh, get them into the hobby. Um, I had a look at it and uh, in fact if I bring the picture up to you nice and closely, looks rather like Lego and I went strange not seen these before these are intriguing me very much so thought I'd make a video and uh, show I've had a little fiddle around with it and a little play with it already but um yeah they do a Spitfire and a 109 and lots of cars and things I haven't seen the full range but while I was browsing for some model kits I saw these and thought they look very interesting indeed so I just thought I'd show these off today um yeah <laughs> five plus no glue or paint but uh yeah yeah it's uh it's very, very intriguing. Um, if I just turn it over, and uh, just show you on the back, you see a little expanded view. Not a great deal of parts in there, but um, I'll, uh, I'll build this for you now. Uh, some little spec, uh, spec and information just about the, uh, the plane itself. And it all looks uh, rather interesting. Um, yeah, so um, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get this open now, and uh, we'll have a look. So, uh, big bunch of parts. Uh, some little stickers there as well. Um, yeah, um, I've had a little play, had a look at some of the quality of this stuff. The plastics look really, really nice. Um, yeah, I haven't tried it to see if it's compatible uh, with Lego at all, but um, my word. Um, yeah, some very obvious uh, non-Lego standardised pieces. But um, yeah, let's have a look, let's build it. Um, got the manual here, um, it's pretty simple to follow, nothing uh, spectacular. Um, wow, look at all that other cool stuff. I think I might be having uh, one or two more of these kits, to be honest. Um, yeah, kind of shows you the uh, the placement of the stickers. Uh, and the instructions are all uh, relatively easy to follow. Um, so, um, let's have a go, and uh, let's have a little build. Right, so I'll, uh, I'll sit down here with these over on the side. Now we need some yellow parts. Uh, how does this go together? Hmm. Uh, Exhaust. Oh no, this is the bottom piece. Let's have a look at this and how this goes. Ah! It should go together that way. Come on. Ah, there we go. There we go. Interesting little fit on that one. Uh, wow, these, these pieces feel really, really good quality. I'm so impressed with this already. Wow. I think I was definitely going to be getting myself um, some more of these. Uh, where does that one go? Let's have a look. Yep, so we have that one. Uh, oh, some red. Red pieces. Red pieces next. Uh, that sits on top there. Uh, another red piece. Oh, hang on. Have I completely and utterly messed this up now by choosing the wrong things. Yeah, that goes in there. That goes on there. What else have we got? Some blue things. Ah, that's part of the engine, I think. And that sits on top there. What else have we got? That's the top piece of the... Uh, how does that go? How does that fit? Man, the instructions are hard. And that goes on there, like so. No, I must have I must have done this wrong. Yeah. Here's me, not following my instructions properly. Okay, we've got that. Ah, oh, there we go. That looks nice. Wow. The actual shape and profile of this. It's all smooth on the outside, so it's not like typical Lego studs. This is something a bit good. I think this one goes on there. Uh, some green, some green things. Ah, this top little green thing on here is next. I think that goes on there. Some parts of the tail assembly next. Is that you? Do you go there? You sit on there. You sit on 
there. Is that, is that right? You sit on there. So we have ourselves a bit of a fuselage thing going on there. What's next? Tail. Tail section. That must sit on there. Oh, this is really rather nice. What's next? Some grey piece is next. Followed by uh, some other little green section next on here. Uh, I think I've deviated from the instructions already. Yeah. Don't let grown ups do this bit. Okay, so we've got that. We need to work on the wings next. So I will pop this here where you can see the top of that. Uh, wing section. Now it doesn't give you the option to have any undercarriage underneath it, but um, let's pop the wheels on. I think the idea is you just see the wheels underneath it. I'm, I'm assuming the other one does that too. Let's pop those on. I'm guessing they go together kind of deviating from the instructions already um right let's see uh, there's some wing pieces to go on next so we need some kind of uh, wing section on here wow this this actually goes together really really well uh, do you go on there i believe you do Wow, the camouflage is actually built into two different colours as well. This is a, this is fantastic. Grey piece of grey next. What grey piece is next? That one, I think. That goes on there. Uh, the other side, we have a small green piece, which is this thing here. Yeah, got that in the right place. Look at that. It's really. I mean, the colours are kind of not exactly to spec, but they're pretty close. Um, all right, what's next? Um, grey, some kind of grey piece next that will probably fit on here. Followed by another green section on there. What's next? I do believe we need to put this bit on the back. Let's get that on there. Uh, let's have a look at that piece there. Have a look at that piece there. Oh, actually, I'm doing all right on this. The semi bit of guesswork. I believe. This piece goes on the base, and this piece goes here, and the canopy, and, oh, hang on, prop, let me just check that, I think you put this on the prop, so it spins, I'm assuming, so it's a really nice bit of prop kit on there. Do we go there? I guess so. And the stand which goes here. Oh, and you get a drop tank as well. I think that goes together this way. And the drop tank sits on the bottom. Well, that is a very impressive 109. That's brilliant. That is well done, Airfix. Well done. That is rather nice, but a, yeah, right. I think, yeah, we have an issue as a stand for it. Yes, you, that's the only downside to that, really. You can't put the drop tank on the underside because it interferes with a bit. Oh dear, that was a little bit of a shame on that one. But uh, I suppose if you're a 
small child and you want to fly around with your 109. Um, yeah, I mean overall, that is a nice little construction cut toy for uh, for young kids. I think that is absolutely brilliant. Well done, Airfix. Well done. Um, right, let's have a look and put some stickers on. How do these stickers go? Oh, they don't seem too bad. Let me have a look at the sticker placement. I'll bring the uh, the manual back. Uh, let's just pop that there so you can see the manual. Let's have a look. I think these crosses are near enough all in the same place. Terribly sorry if I'm not going for accuracy here, but um, yeah, the, uh, the decals, or rod decals, what am I talking about? The uh, the stickers, um, I'm not sure if they should have been in two parts so you can disassemble it. I'm not sure about the replay value to um, tell you the truth. Um, I'd have to get the, uh, the Spitfire kit and see if I can put Spitfire wings on there or something. Possibly not the straightest. Uh, what else have we got? We've got number 12. Are you in one? Yes, you are indeed. So we have number 12. Where do these go? Sort of there. Let's get another cross. Uh, that goes up here. A little bit on the large side, maybe. And, oh, losing my drop tank. What else we got? Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we've got enough. It's not a problem. Uh, let's put that there. That looks about right. And where does this thing go? Roughly around here. If I can get there with my hands. Close enough. And on the underside. Then they line up with the panel line on this one. I'll just line them up here, I think. It's it's not exactly mega accurate, is it? But um for something to keep the kids occupied, I am rather impressed by that. No, oh, well, I'm not making a very good job of this. Close enough. Okay. So, yeah, I think that is uh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, wow. I think I'm going to have another go at some more of these. Um, have a little play. I'll just see. I tend in my little man drawer to see if I have got odd pieces of Lego and see if they are actually compatible. Um, let me just have a look in one of my drawers without knocking my airbrush over. Uh, let's have a look. Who have we got? Oh, there we go. We do have some Lego. We've got Thor. There we go. <laughs> um, let's take something off here and see if it's got any compatibility with... Oh my word. It is actually compatible with Lego as well, so maybe some more geniuses out there who like their construction toys. Um, would like to see if they could do something interesting with that. So, yeah, Thor and a Messerschmitt. Completely random, uh, unrehearsed. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, let's just bring the box back over. Um, so I was looking at the other stuff, so what's that, is that an F-22, I'm not sure, uh, F-16, wow, Spitfire will be really nice, uh, the Apache, yeah, um, I believe you get points with this as well, uh, fix uh, club points, I think you get one point, let's just bring the box back over and let's have a look, uh, yeah, one flying owl with that one, you get the stand, anything else of any interest 
Not really. Not suitable for children under three, obviously. Uh, for five years and above, and for grown adults who are looking for something to keep themselves occupied. Uh, yeah, um, so there you go, guys. Uh, quite a short video, this one, just because I found this incredibly intriguing. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's great for kids. If you want to get your kids into modelling, maybe, it's a good little start. Something... Um, that looks a little bit more accurate than a Lego kit. Um, it's nice, no studs showing. Um, yeah, the uh, the stickers aren't aren't wonderful. Um, but uh, hey, it's going to get chucked around. It's going to get broken up. It's going to get taken apart. And I'm dying now to see if I can do something with the Spitfire and make a little hybrid. So uh, yeah, that's a quick video for you all, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will have another video, well I've got another one in the works right now actually, so I can uh, I'll post that up for you all to see. Uh, and I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching.